Yesterday, we announced that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 would support hardware accelerated ray tracing, bringing this desktop feature over to mobile. Snapdragon will be the first globally available mobile platform with dedicated hardware to accelerate ray tracing. And really, hardware acceleration is one of the key pieces to bringing real-time ray tracing over to mobile. And there's three key components that our Arduino GPU hardware accelerates. First, the retrieval and decompression of ray tracing acceleration node structures. Second, the intersection of rays with the bounding boxes that those intersection of acceleration structures are composed of. And lastly, the intersection of rays with triangles, which are the fundamental building block of everything that we see in games today. Not only will Vulcan 1.3 continue to improve performance further, but it will help accelerate the transition of those desktop games coming over to mobile. One thing that's common with all these desktop games is they use post-processing effects like bloom, depth of field, and mobile, or bloom, depth of field, and uh, motion blur to enhance the visual fidelity of the game. So today we're announcing a new elite game feature built into our GPU hardware called Game Post-Processing Accelerator. Our game post-processing accelerator enhances the performance of the low-level building blocks that are commonly used throughout all of these techniques, improving performance by up to 75%. And this is a huge AAA title, and it's going to release on Android soon, and our team's been working with them to make it run amazing on Snapdragon, and they gave us some footage to show you guys a sneak peek of Rainbow Six Mobile. So here we go. Of the, the warrior sort of doing this, this sort of play over the water, I think, is absolutely spectacular. I think 
really bring it to life. That's crazy. I think my favorite is the sword. Seeing the reflections that are happening off camera that are bouncing off the sword. It's truly really incredible. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Alright, this will be something else that everyone will get to get hands on afterwards as well. For sure. Pause that. Look at that. Oh. So, that, so that's a nice metal material, but now it's really big. So you can actually see the reflection pattern. You can pause it, it's still raining. So this is this is truly being rendered in real time on this device. The symbol was created in Unreal Engine 5. And of course, it's one thing to show you the video up there, but it's a completely other thing to show you that it's actually running live on a device over here on our Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So you can see this is, this is being broadcast directly from the device over here, where we're able to toggle ray tracing on and off, and look at the, how the scene um, sort of responds to the different lighting effects. The only thing you'll notice is that with ray tracing off, the lighting is a very kind of simplistic sort of blown out lighting model. But once we turn ray tracing on, really smooth, soft, lifelike shadows come through you, you know, greatly enhancing the visual fidelity of the game. Ty, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but it, when ray tracing is on, it almost looks like the game is HDR. Yeah, it really helps to bring the game to life. You know, we're, we're more accurately simulating the way light interacts with the elements in the scene to create the shadows, and really just overall increases the visual fidelity. Got it. And that's not for the reflection or shadow that's on the wall. That's is that being emitted from the orb itself? Yeah, and that's ray tracing in action. So that, that that ball is actually made up of geometry, and the light inside of it, there's rays that are being cast out, intersecting with the geometry of that orb to create a Snapdragon logo on the wall. Yeah. Right. Does the gorilla have a name? Call me Zuma. Oh, all right. <laughs> he doesn't have a name. Awesome. <laughs> all right, everyone will get a chance to play with this at the end. All right, thank you.